What's going on, my beautiful treeple? We are live right now. We are in my backyard. So, I invite you to join me, every berry, as we take a plant venture today and we check out what's growing on. It's just a little bit after nine in the morning on a Monday. Today, I thought that I would do something special and share this with everyone so all of my friends i want um you to be a part of this so that you can um see this special treat that i'm going to be sharing with you guys so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be together planting or sowing our first moringa seed so I have a Moringa Dwarf seed here. These are Moringa Dwarf seeds, which I got from Baker Creek, rareseeds.com. So I have two different variety. One is this variety, Baker Creek seeds. They offer a Moringa Dwarf. And then I also have a, another Moringa, which is the full Moringa, Moringa oleifera, um, or Moringa oleifera. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty cool, which I actually got from um, Jake Mace. You could check out his YouTube channel, Vegan Athlete. He has a whole bunch of Moringa trees that he grows. Um, but yeah, this is specifically, I'm assuming, for you know container growing or pots that's why it's called moringa dwarf so moringa trees they basically you know they grow really easy so within i've heard from when in within nine months um they can grow you know relatively tall so i'm gonna do an experiment and hopefully it'll turn from an experiment into something that i can keep you know so I'm gonna try to grow in this grow bag right here. This is a 20 gallon, 20 gallon fabric container. Now grow bags, if you don't know what grow bags are, um, they help for better aeration of the roots, better air circulation for root growth, keep the roots cooler when it's hot and warmer when it's cold and I pretty much have been growing 98% of all of my stuff in grow bags whether it be grow bag raised beds or grow bag containers like this 20 gallon 15 gallon <clears throat> doesn't matter so these are all the different um, amendments I'm going to be using we'll start over here let me get down so I can show you guys. So we have three bowls right here. T three, <laughs> excuse my, <laughs> tea cereal bowls. Excuse my language this morning. You're gonna probably be like, what is this dude on, man? I'm on my five oranges and lemon, that's what I'm on. So I'm trying to keep my composure and do this video. Have all this just happy energy right now. So, these are three rock dust. So remember, if you don't know, rock dust are trace minerals and they contain over 70 minerals. So that could be from phosphorus to potassium, magnesium, zinc, copper, different things like that. Minerals that your body needs. Now, a lot of foods that we buy in grocery stores I mean, our bodies may not be able to consume all of those because they're not in those store-bought produce. But when you're growing yourself, you're able to really enhance that quality of produce. So that's what we want to do today for this Moringa Dwarf. So we have basalt rock dust 
This is from the company Cascade Minerals. This is actually a little granulated. So if I can get a little bit closer, I have my GoPro on my head, so I hope you guys can see. So yeah, that's what it looks like. A little granulated. This is more micronized, so it looks more like a powder. This is glacial rock dust. Um, I can't remember the name of the company. I have the bag in the back, but that's all right. Just Google glacial rock dust. Maybe you'll come up with something. If not, once again, I'll put the links below for all of these once I show them. So if I forget the name, then you will know what it is. So yeah, the first one was basalt rock dust. This is glacial rock dust. Over here we have azomite or azomite, which stands for A to Z of minerals. And this is a volcanic rock dust. This is also a micronized version. I know they have a granulated as well. So remember micronized very powdery substance. Um, when you're working with rock dust, you wanna make sure that you basically, if you want, you can wear a mask um, to cover up your nose, but you don't wanna breathe in this stuff because it's um, very fine particulate and it can, you know, mess up your lungs, screw up your breathing. So you wanna be very careful of that. I'm not gonna wear a mask today because I know how to hold my breath. So yeah, learn how to hold your breath. And what we have over here in this big bag right here, this is some biochar. So I actually buy my biochar um, from Rock Dust Local, which is a quarry out here in California and I think they're located somewhere else too, I can't remember where but they activate this uh biochar and you know they add all kinds of other things in it like they add rock dust in it i think they you know add rock rock dust basalt rock dust i mean and um worm castings and some other things very good company if you guys are looking for a biochar and you know you don't have the time to make it yourself um you know so biochar is very good for helping with soil um plant growth root growth all that stuff you guys can do more research on that or i'll make another video in the future right now we're just focused on me and my moringa but i'm just showing you the amendments i also put the link down with them i actually found out about rock dust local from another youtuber that i, f I follow um john kohler he is growing your greens channel so definitely look and subscribe to him because I learned a lot of my gardening from just watching his videos and then after that I you know found out that he was friends with Jake Mace the vegan athlete and he was doing a tour of his garden you know those two man so much knowledge so much knowledge between those two so those are two definitely that i would look into and i mean you guys see i have all these wood chips i got all these wood chips because i saw a movie on back to eden it was called back to eden film it was a guy named paul gauchi out in uh washington and basically he has wood chips and you know he has uh some great stories man and that movie was very inspiring he has you know an orchard that he hasn't watered in 36 years but it's just been on wood chips and the wood chips decompose and he talks about a lot of powerful things man a lot of powerful things which you know and I'll probably share all of these things, things that John Kohler has mentioned, things that Jake Mace has mentioned, things that Paul Gauchi has mentioned, and, you know, in a way, I'm kind of just spitting it right back out. So, yeah, I'm going to share that with you guys. So, yeah, uh, you can follow a YouTube channel that shows tours of Paul Gauchi, a guy records. That channel is L to Survive, capital L, the number two 
then capital S, lowercase u r v i v e. I think that's what it is. L to survive. And you'll see some very long, like one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour videos on the tours. But he, the things that he says, you're going to want to just watch it. And when you see how good his stuff looks, and he's not watering a darn thing. Oh, yeah. These are the three. <laughs> These are the three golden rules. <laughs> I can't call them rules. These are the three golden people. <laughs> so, yeah. John Kohler, Growing Your Greens channel. Jake Mace, Vegan Athlete channel. Paul Gauchi, L2 Survive channel that's all you need for gardening that is all you need <laughs> like literally i have had the highest amount of success in less than a year of growing from taking what they've said and done it full throttle even if i've had to spend some money and even spending more myself just knowing so yeah money money might money might be the fourth rule <laughs> We need some more money. All right, so yeah, those are those amendments. Now we're gonna go over here. Um, right here we have some pumice. So basically this is like lava rock or volcanic rock. So we're gonna use this to improve the soil drainage and aeration for the roots. All right, so we'll keep that there. Now we have two different kind of worm castings that we're gonna use. Um, I'm gonna also put where I got these things too because I live in South Central Los Angeles. So if there's people that would really like to know where to get these things, man, what are these amendments that he uses? And he did research on these people, John Kohler and Jake Mace, and they use these type of worm castings or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, these worm, both worm castings that I'm going to show you, John Kohler does use and he considers as like the best worm castings and he has great results with his gardens. So I have spent a lot of work and I, you know, did, did a lot of research and found places that are local to, um, my area. So if I have to drive kind of far, I might have to drive a little far, but it shouldn't be farther than, you know, an hour and 30 minutes. So this first one is called Worm Gold Plus. Worm Gold Plus, pure worm castings plus kelp and rock dust. So they also include kelp, which is sea, seaweed, sea algae, and rock dust as well. All natural and organic and no added chemicals so let me show you what else they have so um, I think they had thought they had something else nope that was all oh yes they do have something else I'm just trying to find like the little logo because I know what it is they have but I wanted to show everyone on the camera. Can I find it? Is there something wrong with me? Why don't I see it? Okay. I cannot find it. But I do know for a fact, so please don't sue me if you think I'm lying. <laughs> so they are high in chitin or chitinase so these worm castings are high in that high in chitinase now that will help with your bug problems so um yeah i can't find it <laughs> i'm just obsessed with finding it <laughs> all right so we're gonna move on so worm go plus i'm gonna put the link uh, below you can find these worm castings at the Marina Garden Center. 
So I believe they're about like $20, maybe like a dollar more, around there, $20. So, and this is 20 quarts. So 20 quarts for $20 at Marina Garden Center, Worm Gold Plus. You can also get this pumice there as well. All right, tell them Chris Nuno sent you, Afroganic style. All right, we're gonna go over here to the next worm castings. We're skipping around, we're seeing different things. Um, this is another worm castings, Organic Solution Premium Worm Castings. 100% organic amendment for your garden and indoor plants. Happy, happy plants start with happy soil. All right, now, when we open these bags, you'll see that this is much darker and, um, than the other one. I really like both of these. I know John Kohler has tested uh, both of these worm castings. This is actually a newer brand. I actually found this brand on um, boogiebrew.net, which is another um, affiliate of John Kohler. So Josh Cunnings owns Boogie Brew, and I actually use his Boogie Brew tea, which I'm brewing right now. But this worm castings, I know there's a video, John Kohler on his Growing Your Greens channel, he uh, made a video where he compared his peppers. He grew them in 100% Worm Gold Plus, and then another in these organic solution premium worm castings and in his results he had a higher yield with these organic solution premium worm castings. so I know that these two men Josh Cunnings and John Kohler they're really really good about stuff um, they're also very anal about a lot of things so I know that they're gonna really look to get like the best results the highest yields you know organic as possible so I trust them I trust them I've been following them for a while and I trust everything that they're doing and saying so I'm gonna do my best to hopefully you can trust me for those of you that are completely new and you actually know me and you know I'm doing this really all for all my friends that are following me I'm not expecting to get like a million views and all that stuff I just want to do this because I love doing this and I want to share this with the world, my experiences as I, you know, go through the process of my food forest. And I just want to take you on that journey with me, that plant venture. So, yeah, Worm Gold Plus, Organic Solution Premium Worm Castings, buy them. And this one you can get, let's see if I can remember the name. The name is trying to slip for me. I'm not going to let it run away. Um, organic Solution Premium Worm Castings you can get out there in Torrance. There's a place, if you could just Google Aqua Flow, A Q U A dash F L O, Aqua Flow. And again, I'll put that link below. It's in Torrance. So, like I said, I did a lot of research. I worked, I worked my butt off, man. Because there were some some places, like there's this one Aqua Flow when I first found out about it, I was like, oh yeah, you got some organic solution premium worm castings? Yeah, we got some, man. And you know, I was just, you saw one of my buddies that worked there um, from high school. So I was excited. I was like, oh man. I saw my boy, uh, Chris Rawson. He was there working. Um, but then, you know, I stopped going because I was like, last time I ordered, I think I ordered some. They said they had some. And I ordered some, and they said, oh man, we ain't got any. <laughs> so, <laughs> they said they had some, and I ordered some, and they said, oh, we ain't got any. So you gotta go over there to Torrance, buddy. So I was like, all right, well, I'll go over there to Torrance. <laughs> they better have that shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, they did. They had it. They had to refund me, which was weird because the Asian dude was like, man, you better give him his damn money. He's trying to order this shit for me. 
<laughs> all right so yeah organic solution premium worm castings <laughs> Uh, Aqua Flow and Torrents. They got them, trust me. And they will supply them if they run out. Alright, so. Over here we got another product that I saw. John Kohler actually, he had in like one of his videos. And I can't find that one video. Which is terrible. It's bugging the heck out of me. I don't know if he deleted it or not. But California Gold Humus. How perfect is that? I live in LA, California, gold, humus. This is California gold. It really is. So, says for use as a soil amendment, top dressing, compost enhancer, or as an essential ingredient in liquid compost extract and actively aerated compost. So what I'm gonna do is, since it says that, I'm gonna put this in last as a top dressing and soil amendment. Top dressing and soil amendment. So, that means I'm gonna put it towards the top. And I'm gonna put all my worm go castings, everything else in before. Maybe, we'll see. Actually, I'll put some half in and then half not. That's what we'll do. Or a third in <laughs> and a quarter on top. <laughs> That's what we'll do. <laughs> But yeah, this is just basically, I mean, you know, wood chips, leaves. If you're out in the forest, you know, as things decompose, you know, and poop and all that stuff from insects, that's what this is. So, yeah. Um, that's something great to have. Um, humus, wood chips, leaves, all that stuff. You know, it's an aged compost, basically. Now, if you're looking to get this... You're going to have to drive a distance, and I actually am very good friends with these people. And I told them, I said, I think I'm the only one that's buying this stuff. So if more people are going, oh man, they'll definitely have it there. So I said, order me 12 bags, man, and I'll get it in a month, man. So I'm like, all right. Well, I get there, got the bags, take a few or take all of them you know come back whenever i want it's the same amount of bags that are there because no one else is using this stuff so i'm working to supply it and you know i hope you guys can go there and you know get some too because then for sure they'll definitely have it there so california gold humus you can get it at 55 hydroponics in Santa Ana. 55, the number, 55 hydroponics, Santa Ana. So, definitely go out there and get that. If now, I think there's seven bags left from last time I checked. So, six or seven. So, if you go there anytime soon, then. That means that you've gotten some bags, I hope. So when I go back, I'll know. And I'm just telling you real quick, remind you to just save me some bags. <laughs> okay. Now over here, we've got something that's very important. It is vital to everyone's health. And that is just five gallons of water, baby. So... We're going to drink a little slowly. Just kidding, I'm not drinking that. Alright, so... I'm going to come back over here real quick. Because I actually forgot to talk about one of these rock dusts. Um, actually, two of these rock dusts. Now, this rock dust, that azomite rock dust, you can also get um, locally too. I can't think of the name of where you can get that because I, I I used to buy my stuff online on Amazon getting some azomite rock dust but I found a place that has it locally in Los Angeles um so or not too far from Los Angeles so once I get that I will send that I'll put that link down below so you know where to get it 
over here the glacial rock dust I also found locally it's also at the same place that California gold humus place is so you can go to get this glacial rock dust at 55 hydroponics in Santa Ana all right so I'm glad I got that taken care of because rock dust is super expensive to ship so I found two I found a volcanic rock dust and I found a glacial rock dust locally I'm still working on a basalt rock dust locally this is from Cascade Minerals but I actually got this bag from some place that just had one left and it was super old you could tell it was so old the bag was barely holding together and it was the old logo of Cascade Minerals so it was like this big bag you order and there's all these little bitty Ziploc bags inside filled with minerals so I have like thousands of little Ziploc bags of minerals so this was actually three <laughs> so that was pretty cool because then I don't have to get my hands dirty like they're all in the bags just open the bag so I'm not tripping off that but I'm still trying to find a place that has this locally if I could find Cascade Minerals locally oh man that'd be great so anyone have any you know info on that feel free to comment and share that with me all right so yeah everything's local these biochar is local but you still got to have a ship to you these two rock dust are local azomite which is volcanic and this glacial rock dust also this pumice is local I mean, you can get that at any nursery worm gold plus you can get at marina garden center in case you can't get this at any nursery marina garden center <laughs> over here organic solution premium worm castings which is in i forgot the name i'm very bad at forgetting things that i just say why am i so stupid okay it was I'm sorry it's gonna bug me so badly it's gonna bug me it's not even what the video is about organic solution premium worm castings it's bugging me where is it so let's see <laughs> that's the marina, marina marina garden center this is at the oh yeah aquaflow that's what it was aquaflow in Torrance that's where you can get it just messed it up messed up the whole conversation all right and California gold California gold humus 55 hydroponics all right I'm just messing with you guys this is hilarious all right so another rock dust or trace minerals that I could share with you guys this is by longevity blooming minerals soil revitalizer a humate soil conditioner and plant food containing up to 76 organically bound earth elements remineralizes soil all right so this is let's see high organic matter and high humic acid analysts 76 major trace and rare earth and minerals rare earth and minerals increases water retention and penetration improves soil physical characteristics contains beneficial non-plant food ingredients 45 percent humic acids derived from humic shale ore so it is a hundred percent natural humate soil conditioner composed of prehistoric plant minerals no longer found no longer found in farm and range soils prehistoric plant minerals no longer found in farm and range soils <laughs> farm and range soils it contains no added binders or fillers guaranteed analysis sulfur 1.50 percent iron 2.25 percent but now let's go to the other ones so I don't know if you could see that if you do get a good shot and you could always pause it. <laughs> I 
have it on my head. I don't even know if it's showing the whole thing. I hope it is. But anyway, I'll read it to you. So all the minerals, so up to 76 elements make up Bloomin' Minerals Soil Revitalizer. Calcium, chloride, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, sulfur, antimony, arsenic, aluminum, hydroxide, barium, beryllium, bismuth, boron, bromine, cadmium, carbon, carbon, cerium, cesium, chromium, cobalt, copper, diprosium. If someone's a scientist, you're going to probably laugh at me. <laughs> Erbium, europium, fluorine, gadolinium, gallium, germanium, gold. Ooh, it's got gold, baby. Athnium, holmium, hydrogen, indium, iodine, iridium, iron, lanthanum, lead, lithium, lutetium, manganese, molyb molybdenum, <laughs> molybdenum, neodymium, neodymium, nickel, niobium, nitrogen, osmium, oxygen, palladium, pal pa palladium, this really sucks. <laughs> Shit. Platinum. <laughs> Presodium. <laughs> this is terrible. Rhenium, rhodium, rubidium, ruthenium, samarium, scanium, lenium, silicon, silver, strontium, tantalum, tellurium. You can just read the rest. <laughs> just read the rest. It's too many. All right, so I'm going to be using that along with my rock dust for trace minerals. <laughs> cool. So right here we have some mycorrhiza, mycorrhizae, which is basically, this is in granular form. So it has five species of beneficial bacteria. Um, also works as a slow organic fertilizer but basically just as the top of this says this is insurance for your plants and I actually bought this from Jake Mace so you can get this from jakemace.com jakemace.com is a website so it promotes rooting growth plant establishment nutrient uptake increases survivability yields fruiting and flowering Reduces transplant shock, drought stress, water, and fertilizer needs. Now, basically mycorrhiza is beneficial fungi and um, bacteria. Very beneficial. But basically you can basically make a, almost like a spiderweb structure of you know millions and millions and millions of fungi that's what it does it just makes like a big net like a database like if there's a computer system got a host and you start making servers and stuff and then you start spreading out everywhere with all these wires and stuff it's the same thing so mycorrhizae will do that mycorrhiza or mycorrhizae and this is going to help your roots just expand from network to network to network to network to network to network and if you have that crazy amount of root growth then your your plants are thriving that's where it's at your roots if you don't know now you know and tell him Diddy sent you. Yeah, so. Um, root growth. Roots. Plants. They all start with the roots. It starts from one seed. And what comes out of the seed first? The roots. 
So that should let you know. Roots are number one. They're key to plant growth. Yield, disease resistant, pest resistant, all that stuff. If you have crazy roots, your plant is going to thrive. So we'll be adding that in at the top when we're done. I'm over here crawling and sitting around in these wood chips. Man, I couldn't do this in the dirt. These wood chips. Man, it's like almost like I'm... I don't know, it's nice. I can lay out here. Alright, so... We have two more bags that I want to share with you guys. So, these are two different kinds of bug droppings. Now, this is called Boogie Frass. You should know where I got this from because it says Boogie. So, beetle, beetle mania for your plants. This is Boogie Frass, which I got from BoogieBrew.net. I'll put that link below for you. So, Boogie Frass will help to improve a garden's peak performance and make your plants dance. Well, I hope they make my plants dance because it's the first time I got this from you. So, we'll see. I hope if my Moringa comes out and starts dancing with me, I'm going to probably run for the hills because that sucker is probably on like 100 oranges and 10 lemons compared to what I'm on right now. So, because I'm only on 5 and 1. 6 and 1. I added an extra orange. Okay. So, BoogieBrew.net. This one right here, Insect Frass. Um, you can get also at 55 hydroponics, but you know what? You can get this at any hydroponics place. So I found some hydroponic places near me that supply this. Every place, every hydroponics place supplies this. So if you're in LA and you can just Google or Yelp hydroponics, you will find something near you and they will have this 100% organic insect France okay insects insect frass oh my gosh my language is so terrible I I have to apologize because I'm a very good public speaker I'm a very good speaker these five oranges and a lemon have basically look like they giving me a list so I'm so sorry if I sound weird, my words are just coming out and mumbling and I don't know what I'm saying. So, I normally talk much better and sound much sexier than this. So, please forgive me. Please. Please forgive me. Alright. So, ladies, forgive me. What Ladies, I'm taking, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so and these are three cereal bowls that I'm going to fill with cereal later. No, just kidding. And oh yeah, these are my micro greens. These are what are these? Oak, green oak or oak, some type of oak lettuce micro greens that are growing right now. And these are Detroit red beet greens. So they're growing. We're just letting them grow, letting them grow out in the sun. I feel like they're going a little slower, but maybe I'm tripping because I normally grow micro greens inside I have an indoor lighting system but I said let me just try this one time and just try growing it outside I think the first day I covered it up and then I just said I don't want it to be in the dark so now it's not in the dark it's been about four days they're coming up okay I wonder if they go up quicker when they're inside if I feel like they are but that's not what the video is about. Now I understand what happens. See, I watch videos and people get sidetracked, but now I know why they get sidetracked and it's just hard. There's just too much to talk about. You gotta let stuff out there. I just wanna ramble, but at the same time, I'm gonna share some knowledge with you, so. All right, one more thing. We have a big bin here with my gloves in there. Now I see a little spider mite crawling on my gloves. I don't want to get him in my skin and get some skin mites. Just kidding. I don't know if that happens. 
Um, we have coconut core. So basically this was just a brick, about a cubic foot. One or two cubic feet, I can't remember. I think it's one cubic feet of coconut core, just a brick. And if you don't know what coconut core is, it's just basically the fiber and husk of a, co a coconut. And basically they just compress that. You add water and it turns into this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. So we can see exactly. Oh no, I think I put a, a wood chip in there. I don't want a wood chip in my glove. Alright. Here we go. Let's take this. See the wood chip fell in there. I don't want the wood chip in there either. But yeah, this is basically so all this is. It smells nice. I like the smell of coconut core. The smell like coconut husk. It's pretty cool. This is a lot of soil though. From one brick. And that's water will do to you. Okay, it's also 100% carbon, so if you want to use it for your compost, you can add this. You know, if you don't have wood chips or whatever, you can add this. And again, coconut core you can get at any hydroponics store. So, just Google, Yelp, your hydroponics store, I guarantee you they will have coconut core. Make sure you get the bricks and not the chips. I actually got the chips one time and I was very disappointed. Um, I prefer this than some big, almost like wood chip, coconut type chips. You know, this is like really broken down and you can really add it as like a nice mixture in your soil. So yeah, don't get the chips unless you wanna make it like wood chips. Oh, and also, wood chips you can get these wood chips locally too so these wood chips are free i drive to griffith park almost every week sometimes i'll spend a week and it'll be like every day <laughs> but i just love going there and just bringing like four to six big bins of wood chips back home so you can go there to their composting facility. It's 5400 Griffith Park. I don't know if it's Drive or Boulevard. Anyway, just go to Griffith Park. When you go there, you'll see a sign. Composting facility. Make a left. And just keep going up and up this swervy hill. You'll pass by the park. You'll pass by a golf course. And that lets you know you're getting closer. And then you'll go on up. And then you'll see to your right a whole bunch of bulldozers and trees and crap. And you want to make a left. Wait, I thought everything is over there with the trees and the crap. No, you make a left. And then that's where they have wood chipped it all. So you have your wood chips. There's two, normally three piles. There's two big piles that are that are bigger chunks there's one pile that's more broken down which they ran out of right now so I'm using the bigger pieces but it's all good it's all the same and then if you walk further down there's like a pile I think of pine needles if it's still there and some other like there's a lot and then also right next to those two big pile of wood chips there is a uh, compost so basically they give away free compost so I believe that that's also wood chips and leaves and stuff like that as well as manure which is like from zebras and elephants I think from the LA Zoo now I don't use that compost necessarily for my my personal garden or food forests only because I want to try to stray away from using manures 
Now, I'm not saying manures are bad, but I mean, you know, like everything, not everything is created equal. Not all earthworms are created equal because they don't all eat the same crap. Not all manure is made equal because we don't know what they feed them. I hope that they're, if they're at the LA Zoo that they feed them healthy, like plants and organically, and they take care of them and everything. I hope that they do that. I really do. I really love animals so much, and I hope that zoos and places really take care of them. We truly don't know because we're not there. Cameras can lie and say stuff, or cameras may not get everything. So as long as they're pretty good caring, I'm happy. So if you want to use it, use it. If not, then you don't. But who knows, maybe later I'll, I'll do more research on uh, their compost and I'll do a video or something and I'll start using it. You know, I, I just haven't used it yet. So if anyone has and they really know the details of Griffith Park's compost, then please share that with me because I don't. And I would really like to know all of the ingredients and how do they treat their animals if they also use manures. Now I used to use manure when I first started, when I very first started, three containers. Um, I planted a broccoli and then I planted uh, some other things um, in these uh, rectangular containers. Uh, I can't remember what I used, um, which worm castings I used, but I think it had chicken manure. But ever since then, I mean, I haven't used any manures, and I've ha I've seen great results. So you don't need to use manures. I mean, they do help in a good way. But again, it goes back to if you're that anal like I am, where does that manure come from? How was that animal treated? And that's really what I care about because you are what you eat. If an animal was treated like crap, and then you're getting crap. And then that's giving you crap. You know, you're getting crap, that's the manure. And then you eat the manure and that's also giving you crap. <laughs> it's just a endless amount of uh, inorganic crap. <laughs> All right, so I think I just took up too much time. That, that That's it for today. No, I'm just kidding. This guy's just rambling and talking and saying some weird stuff guy's kind of funny man i hope i'm funny no i'm just kidding i'm not i'm really not funny i think i'm funny in my own world no i'm not i really don't think i'm funny these oranges and lemon have really got me messed up man i really don't think i'm funny <laughs> let's get started so what we're gonna do is we are going to start with our amendments first so what we're gonna do first is Actually, I just realized I forgot my um what is that called? My blade so I can open up these bags. Now, I know I said I had gotten this water. Now, there's a reason I got this water is so that I can fill up my watering can and you don't have to watch me walk back and forth all the time. So I can basically do this give you some nice footstep walla walking back and forth get my water in can nice footstep walla so if you're a sound designer or a foley artist you can hit me up i got some wood chip walla wood wood chip footsteps i mean footstep walla i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> A footstep walla <laughs> so yeah any sound designers or foley artists that need some organic natural sounding uh footstep uh wood chips hit me up so you can message me and i'll i'll record some for you no cost i don't want a whole bunch i want i don't want a thousand film industry people messaging me if all you guys are sending me these stuff man you better give me a job <laughs> but yeah i didn't want to do that i didn't want to go back and forth and deal with that 
So what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to cut it off and I'm going to go get my blade and then we'll come right back and get started. Got to make sure I say that. started got my blade actually got this blade when I used to work at food for less years ago in Watts still kept it I promise you there's no meat on here <laughs> I was just using it to cut ziploc bags I mean uh, ziploc bags cut boxes when I was in the all right so we're back now I actually left for a little over an hour my camera died so I use that time to transfer my data and um, watch a new John Kohler video where he's talking about some interesting stuff about the health food industry so we're back now we're gonna get to planting this Moringa seed also known as horse radish tree Moringa. All right, so we got all our amendments. Let's get started. So we've got my box cutter. I've worn off from those hours, so five oranges and lemon aren't as intense as earlier, but it's still intense. Mom came upstairs and said, and I said, I love you. And she said, well, she didn't say anything, but she was just thinking, well, She's laughing, knowing what's going on. Probably wondering I'm on that oranges and a lemon. So, yeah. That's what happened earlier. Saw me and said, oh, laughing. I'm on something. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this California gold. Let's get this in here. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Getting there, getting there. I'm not gonna put the whole thing, but I'm gonna put most of it. Put most of it. I do wanna leave some for the top. All right. I'll be wearing my gloves for all this stuff. All right. So we've got that nice fine soil in here. Normally I water it, but I'm not going to water it right now. I'm just going to start putting everything in here. So we've got that layer. So I'm going to show you guys how I get down. Go ahead and add a some coconut core help with moisture retention so just a little bit mix that all up in there help with drainage 
special. Let's add some more. I'm gonna add a whole bunch. That's not a whole bunch, but that's enough. That's a lot, actually. All right. Cool. Got that all mixed in there. Open it up. All right. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our. I already opened it. Worm castings. <clears throat> Worm Gold Plus. Plus in here. One thing I liked about Paul Gauchi is that he said, you know, the creator never mixes, he layers. Thought that was pretty cool. On my raised bed, I just layered. And then in the top few inches, I mixed. You know, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. You can never burn your plants with too much rock dust. You can never burn your plants with too much good compost and like wood chips and stuff like that. You can never burn your plants with too much worm castings. So all these amendments that I'm using, organic, 100% natural from the earth, you know, or creatures, and you can't burn your plants. Worm castings are 100% nitrogen mainly. So nitrogen is what causes the greens to happen in your plants. Green is what you need. All right. Go ahead and add some more of this coconut core. Coconut. Coconut core. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add this. Woo! Don't want to breathe that in these different rock dusts. Oh man, I love just using these cereal bowls. All right, man, got them all in there. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some, I'm just eyeballing it and doing it without thinking and reading a manual. So now I've got my worm castings. Go ahead and dump that in here. All right, this is the premium worm castings. So this is gonna fill it up. All right, man. And then after I add this, I'm gonna add the pumice. Cool. Let's go ahead and add the lava rock. But well, before we do that, let's go ahead and mix. We need to mix this stuff. I mentioned creator doesn't mix layers. I'm mixing, but whatever. It's all organic. I'm not tripping. Colors now. Now the moringa seed, as I'm doing this, it makes a tap root which goes straight down into the ground. 
So I'm hoping that the taproot will have enough room in this soil to thrive. Cause it's meant to go down straight into the earth. <clears throat> but I'm putting it in a grow bag container, so that's not gonna be the case. All right, so we've got that all mixed in there. Let's go ahead and add our pumice, some volcanic rock. I if this is enough. Uh, we'll add some more. Add some more down in there. I'm like dropping all the worm castings out, but that's all right. Now let's just add the whole bag. I don't care. It's not going to hurt the plant. All right. So we've got that all in here. I'm getting down and dirty. Whoo. All right, so we've got our mixture in here. Now, one of the very last things I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. A few last things. Blooming minerals. Let's add some minerals, remineralize the soil, even though it doesn't need to be remineralized. Remineralized. Because I'm making my soil myself now let's see we've got our boogie frass right here and insect frass I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot of this all right I think I just used the boogie frass this time all right so we've got that in there now I'm gonna go ahead and bring these mycorrhizae over because we're gonna use this later so let me get my gloves and biochar. Don't want too much biochar. I don't feel we need a lot. I'm trying to get it to come out, having a hard time. All right, that should be enough. All right, so we've got our moringa seed. Before I put that on. In, gonna mix real quickly what we just added. So, this is some nice good soil here. Rich, rich soil for my moringa tree to grow and, th and thrive. All right, get a good look at that black gold, baby. Then the last thing I'm gonna do, 
Oh, almost forgot. Our mycorrhiza. Now I'm gonna plant it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some of this mycorrhiza all around here. That should be enough. So that's gonna be where the plant goes. Now, that's covered up for the spider web network infrastructure under there. I'm gonna go ahead and top with some coconut core. Cause I found that coconut core is great for germinating seeds. For some reason seeds really like coconut core. They hold in moisture and that's what seeds need to germinate. They need moisture, they need water. You don't gotta water that much, you have some nice moisture. Alright, and now that that's about done, I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off. I shall put that there. And then I'll show you guys what the Moringa seeds look like. Moringa seeds can purify water. So we see right here, this is what the Moringa seed looks like. I'm going to go ahead and plant this. Plant this right in here. So however big the seed is, that's how big you want to plant it. That's it. We're done. Now, so you don't got to see me walk back and forth. Whoa, dump this water on my wood chips and in my pot my can I mean watering can man watering can we're just gonna go ahead and water that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video it was much quicker for me to actually set it all up and plant this moringa seed than it was for me to be high on five oranges and a lemon and ramble on and maybe crack a half a joke here and then you guys are probably like man it took him an hour just to get through the process of actually planting the seed talking about the amendments then he goes ahead and plants a seed when it kind of five oranges and lemon kind of wear off it does it in about five minutes so yeah I'll keep you guys up to date with a future video on how this Moringa tree grows. I hope it grows. I'm just planting one. And once again, this is Chris Nuno growing Afroganic style. Encouraging everyone in every way to grow big and grow home.
Forgot to put some humus on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that gingerly as we speak. Gingerly. Have some left over for maybe some indoor plant starts. One reason I'm constantly watering is because we want to make sure that the soil is nice and moist underneath we added all those amendments dry so we want to make sure that we let the water get down there into every nook and cranny of this grow bag filled with soil and the sun is a is going to, of course, absorb all of this. Also, you want to get all the air bubbles out of there, so this will do that over time. like a gloppy glue but trust me it's gonna dry up and it's gonna grow hey guys Chris Nuno, Afro Organic, Garden of Eden. Got some bonus footage for you guys. If you look, could look right there on that leaf, to your left, you'll see a little insect. I believe that is a parasitic wasp, which is also a beneficial insect. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm going off the top of my head from what I know right now. Looks like that is a beneficial insect called a parasitic wasp. It looks so beautiful. I'm, I'm like really close. If I'm getting a good angle, hopefully you guys can see it. It doesn't seem to be running away from me. Coming one with nature. I want him to get used to who I am. So when he has kids, he or she has kids. We can all benefit. And you can continue to just chill on the edge of my lemon tree leaves. Take care of any bugs for me. I see another little insect under one of these leaves. It's super tiny, but I can't tell what it is. But anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this bonus footage. Now I hear another noise in my lemon tree. Sounds like a woodpecker or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it sounded like something was hammering into like my tree. Oh, there it goes, it's flying away. Hope I got it flying away. All right, anyways, keep on growing. <laughs>